Please subscribe this channel. It's hard to maintain journalistic perspective on the launch of any new Ferrari, especially one that's held at a luxury wine resort on the side of a mountain in Emilia-Romagna, surrounded by the sort of scenery that causes the Italians to put Isimo at the end of superlatives. Hell, we can even forgive the company's controversial decision not to serve cocktails until after the press conference, meaning we had to listen to the rundown while entirely sober. It's a tough job, but we bet you're glad we're here to do it. Having our full attention provided Ferrari the chance to tell us plenty about the new 488 Spider and its turbocharged engine. The presentation covered pretty much everything being detailed enough to include a slide entitled How the Ed of 3 with SSC and Def Track deals with the demands of power on torque distribution. If we tried to summarize the whole thing, we would probably bust our monthly allocation of pixels. But we don't really need to, as pretty much everything bar the spider's roof is identical to the 488 GTB we drove back in June. It was fascinating nonetheless especially when the talk turned to the strange business of marketing open-topped Ferraris. Mreno is on first-name terms with pretty much its entire customer base, and officials told us, with commendable exactness, that we can expect just over half of US-bound 488s to be spiders, the number for the 458 was 53%. While you'll be unsurprised to learn that 60% of buyers have already owned at least one Ferrari, the revelation is that 90% of them will be what Ferrari terms spider-only customers, unwilling to even consider a supercar with a fixed roof. There are, it transpires, two very different tribes of 488 owners. GTB buyers want to drive their car solo and are far more likely to take them on track. While Spider purchasers usually drive with the roof down and a partner in the passenger seat. They are, we were told, open car hedonists looking for driving emotions. We'll leave the mental image of that one up to you, but we'd be surprised if it didn't include gold jewelry. A dichotomous customer base. This brings the paradox. Because while the 488's customer base is seemingly split between these hard-driving alpha males and leathery debauchees, there's only really a single car, one that now has the option of a neat folding hard top. It's not long since buying an open-topped Ferrari meant making significant sacrifices beyond merely the increased risks of acquiring skin cancer and a much younger wife. Spiders were the dynamic inferiors to their metal-roofed sisters, trading the opportunity to work on your tan and to better appreciate their wailing soundtracks for less performance, less precision, and a noticeable reduction in structural rigidity. View photos. No longer. The 488 Spider is so close to being the equal of the GTB in every regard as to make no difference. It's 110 pounds heavier. Although a claimed 55 pounds lighter than would be an equivalent soft top, the mass added by the roof mechanism and some underfloor reinforcement at both ends. Yet Ferrari claims an identical 3.0 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time for both versions and says they're only 0.3 second apart by the time they reach 124 miles per hour, which the spider manages in 8.7 seconds. More remarkably, the 488 Spider is within a second of the GTB around a lap of the company's Frano circuit and with its roof raised has, Ferrari says, 95% of the torsional rigidity of the coupe. Beyond the need to find slightly more money, and losing the chance to see the twin turbocharged V8 through the GTB's clear engine cover, you don't really lose anything by picking the Spider. In technical terms, a DNA swab would not separate the two cars. Ferrari tried to develop a separate suspension tune for the Spider but then realized that it worked best with the exact same spring and damper settings as the GTB, the adaptable systems apparently are quick-witted enough to effectively cancel out the slight differences in mass and structural strength.
drift away.